Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Marvin and Friends Craft and Storytime series. I am Jamie Dwarka from Port of Spain Young Adult Library and I'm here today with Oprah Francis, the author and illustrator behind the adventures of Marvin the Mischievous Maniku. So Oprah, what do you have in store for us today? Well Jamie, today we'll actually be making Monty the Red Hollow Monkey, who's one of the characters from the adventures of Marvin the Mischievous Maniku. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit more about Monty? Sure. Well, Monty is a red hollow monkey, and red hollow monkeys, they are actually one of the largest monkeys on this side of the world. As his name suggests, he's known for his brilliant red color, and locally, you can find him in heavily forested areas. But you might actually hear him before you see him. Wait, hear him first? Well, red hollow monkeys are very loud animals, so loud that you can hear his howl from miles away. Seriously? Have you heard and seen one in the wild? I have in Chagaramas on my way to the beach or other areas on that side of the country. And I would recommend that you keep your distance though if you happen to see a red hollow monkey in the wild. Why is that? Red hollow monkeys could be a little territorial from time to time, especially if you come too close to their young. So it's better to be safe and cautious. Wow, that is good information to remember. Thanks for the tip. So now that we have learned more about Monty and the Red Howler Monkeys, let's get into the activity. So Oprah, how do we make Monty? Well, Jamie, let's start with the material. So to make Monty, as you all know, Monty is a Red Howler Monkey. So we're going to use some red bristle board. So right now we have two shades of red bristle board. And for his face, we will be using some brown bristle board. And to give Monty a bit more life, we have a pair of googly eyes that we will be using for his face. And if you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can make your own eyes. You could draw them out on a white piece of paper, print them out even, color them in and cut them out. So we have variations with the material that we could use. Great, let's begin. Let's start with Monty's face. So we're going to use the brown bristle board for his face. So what we're going to do right now, we're taking our pencil and we're just going to draw a circle for his face. And let's make it a little long, you know, give Monty some chin as well. So we're drawing our circle here. A nice wrong circle, a bit oval shaped. And the thing is, Sometimes when you use a pencil, the lines may be hard to see, especially when you're using dark colors. So I will use the pencil to get the shape that I want. And once I know I have no errors or mistakes, I will use my black marker to draw an outline around the shape. So just like this, following the line that I just drew with the pencil. So we're just going to take our time and go around the curves joining all the little bits together. So now that we have his face, we could take our scissors and start cutting off the shape. All right, so let's just clean it up a bit. All right, so let's tidy up the edges and we have his face. All right, so now that we have Monty's face, we also need to get some ears for Monty as well. So using some of the excess material you have from the brown, we're just going to draw out some ears. So straight to the side, and then we're curving it around. All right, so coming down straight. It's kind of like you're doing a capital D. So straight to one side, and then you're curving around. And then we're going to cut off the excess. just like this. Mm -hmm. And now, Monty has ears. <laughs> so we're just gonna put those to the side. We're going to come back to them in a bit. And let's clear up some of the excess material we have here. Okay, so put this to the side. So now, let's add some color to Monty. Okay. So we have his face. So we're going to put the face on the red bristle board and we're just going to draw a circle around it, just a bit larger. 
done the circle of the face, right? So we're just going to do a rough estimate around like this. And just like before, we're taking our black marker and we're going to draw the outline using the pencil marking we just so just like this so right around the pencil marking we just drew perfect <laughs> lovely so let's cut this off right here and it's time to cut out our face well cut out the fur sorry okay. Right, so let's just get rid of the excess material. So let's put this to the side. So now we could go a bit closer to the line. And we're cutting this around the edge of the line we just drew with the black marker. Now we have the fur around Monty's face. So you start with a little glue to the center and then you add as you go along. Mm -hmm. So just a little pressure. So now let's give Monty some eyes and let's attach his ears. So for his eyes, we're just going to put two drops of glue, nothing much. One to the left and one to the right. And we're just going to add some glue as well the sides for his ears all right just like this let's give Monty a little smile <laughs> so just a nice curved line so Monty is happy. <laughs> so now that Monty has a face, we could leave him flat for a bit so he could dry. Right, so, but let's just put it to the top right here so we have a rough estimate. And now we're going to draw Monty's body. So Monty's body would be a bit larger than his head and the fur around his head. So since we have his face to the top here, we could use that as an estimate to draw the body. So we're just going to draw a larger circle Slightly oval shaped, but wrong. Alright. So as I said, it's always good to use the pencil so you can get it right the first time. When you're sure you have the shape that you want, you could use the marker to maybe line solid. So let's draw Monty's body. So now let's draw his legs and his hands as well. So we're just going to draw these nice lines. All right, so let's cut using those lines. All right, so let's just cut this excess. So what you will do with these two strips, just put them together and you cut them in half, just like this. And so you have these bits for his hands and these bits for his legs. To finish him off, let's draw some hands and feet. So using some of the excess material that we had, we're just going to draw some hands and feet so give him some nice curved hands and give him some fingers and give him some toes all right so let's make sure and give monty his four fingers and his thumb as well so we should have five digits on each we have monty's body and we have his hands and feet ready for cutting so let's just cut each out and get rid of some of the excess material as well
Right, so let's just finish up right here. Put our excess material to the side. And you can really see our hollow monkey coming together. So we have Monty's face, we have his limbs, we have his hands as well, and we have his feet. So now we can start putting everything together. Alright, so just apply some glue right here. Right, and now we're going to fasten on his face. So just some glue to the tip right here. Right, and we're going to fasten his face. His head on like this. Right, so just apply some pressure with your fingertips. And so we have Monty, the red hola monkey. <laughs> so there's one last bit to add to Mon Monty. And Jamie, could you guess and tell me what that bit is? What Monty is missing? I can't hear. <laughs> well, Monty actually has what we like to call a prehensile tail. Oh, so. Yes. Sometimes when you see the red hollow monkey swinging from tree to tree, you would actually see them gripping onto the trees with their tail, right? So it's a large tail, long, very strong, and they could actually use it similar to the way they would use their hands. So they could hold onto the trees using their tails. So let's give Monty a little tail, right? So the last bit of red we used from earlier, we could draw a nice hook shape so we're giving Monty a nice curved tail. So we're doing it like a hook. Right? And then we are taking our black marker to draw a nice thick outline around. Just like this. Just like this. Perfect. So we have a nice hook shape like this. And uh, let's cut it, let's cut it out. So same as before, mm -hmm. let's cut off our excess first so we can get closer to the outline. Alright, so be careful with your fingers. Just like this. Right, so we're just going to add the tail. We're going to stick the tail to the back of Monty right here, just like that. Right, and you could add some more glue if necessary. I'm just going to add a bit more glue to mine, to my tail to fasten it a bit better. Coming to the edge. Right, and use your fingers to apply a bit of pressure. Mm-hmm, just like that. And now we have a full red hollow monkey with a prehensile tail. <laughs> Thank you, Oprah, for visiting us today. To get more information on Monty, the red hollow monkey, Marvin the Manicu, and other animals found in Trantabigo, follow Marvin the Manicu on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube and get the full book series out now. Don't forget to follow Nalis on Facebook and Instagram for the next episode of Marvin and Friends Craft and Storytime series.